Today I'm going to show you how to create custom presets in Lightroom in three easy steps. The first step, assuming that you have imported all of your pictures into Lightroom already, if you haven't, um, obviously start by doing that. Um, the first step then is to highlight the image that uh, you want to start with. So that's going to be maybe the first uh, in a series or whatever picture you want to use as sort of your baseline to set um, to set the, the preset criteria. So once you've selected that, go to the Develop tab. And now the second step is going to be to make the changes that you want to save in your preset. So in this case, let's increase the exposure. Uh, we'll decrease the brightness. I like a little bit cooler color tone. Um, we'll increase the clarity a little bit. We'll increase the saturation just a hair. And then we'll increase the sharpening. So I just want to stress that these are not the only edits that I'm going to make to this photo. The purpose of presets, at least the way I use them, is to save myself time if I know that I'm going to make the same edits to every photo in a series. So if I took, you know, 50 pictures uh, in a photo shoot and I know that I'm going to uh, increase the sharpening to 43, the radius to 2.1, and so on and so forth for every single image. It saves so much time to be able to click one button rather than having to go down, uh, you know, this uh, this toolbar and make those same uh, edits over and over and over for every single picture. So once you've made these edits that you want uh, to be sort of the standard uh, for all of the pictures that you're working with today, simply go over to the presets area on the left hand side and I just also want to mention that I'm using a really old uh, version of Lightroom. I'm using Lightroom 3 so you yours might look a little bit different but wherever the preset uh, area is located in your software click the little plus sign um, name it. I'm going to call this radishes preset and then you also have the option here of unchecking or, or telling it not to save certain things. So let's say that um, I, you know, don't want to save the exposure for whatever reason. So you just you check or uncheck whatever you don't want to save. So I don't want to save the white balance, for example. Um, anything that is checked will be saved in the preset. Just hit create. That's your third step. And then you are done. Um, Here's how to use one of these. I'm going to go to a different image. Let's go to this one. Um, back to my develop tab. Here is my radishes preset in my preset list. I just click it and then all of my changes have been made. Remember that I didn't save my exposure, so I'm going to have to lighten it. I'm still going to have to do some work on all of these images, but uh, this gives you uh, a quick uh, time saver um, so that you don't have to keep going back and doing the same edits over and over and over again. So that's it. I hope it helped. If you have any questions, um, please feel free to email me. My email is acleanbake at gmail.com. Thanks, everyone.